since they have stopped swinging, now what we are going to do, we are going to mark two points on this lamina, for pressing the, that thread. Here. So now after doing that, I come and join. I join the two points. I join the two points. You see now this, where these three lines meet, that one will be, okay, the point of intersections of the three lines is the center of gravity of this what? Of this object. So, as I told you, you have first to make three holes on this, in this lamina. You make three holes, and then you come and suspend, you clamp the lamina and the pendulum bob, and then after you suspend, you, you displace a little bit, you give a slight displacement, and you have to wait when they swing, after swinging, uh, they will stop swinging, obviously. Then it will not take a lot of time because the force you applied, that displacement, should not be very big, it should not go crazy. So you give a slight displacement, and then you mark two points on the, on the lamina, and then later you join using a straight line. And then again you transfer to point B, to holes B, and then you go to hole C, you do the same. Where the three lines meet, that one will be the center of gravity, the center of gravity, center of gravity of this what? Object. That's how you find the center of gravity of the lamina. Okay, let's also talk about stability. Also talk about the stability. This object, is what I put it like, is it stable? So we're going to know that the stability is a state. when the object cannot cannot easily lose its equilibrium equilibrium that is a state when the object cannot easily lose its equilibrium and we say that the, the center, the position of the center of gravity determines the stability of an object. The position of the center of gravity determines the, the position of the center of gravity determines determines the stability of an object of an object that means I will say that the lower the center of gravity the more stable that object will be the lower the center of gravity the more stable the object will be and that means, what are some of the factors? The factors, what are the factors affecting the stability? One, we have the base, base area. If I have this, if this is a
is a cardboard. The center of gravity is here. Remember here. You know, this is the center of gravity. It's at this very point. And this is a vertical line. This is dropped downward from the center of gravity. And this one here is the base. The base, the base area. And then I also have this. This is the center of gravity. And then if I draw a line. So this one here, we realize that when the line is drawn vertically from the center of gravity, and this line will move, will extend outside, outside the base of this cardboard. That means this cardboard, this object, it will not be what? Stable. Because the vertical line will extend outside the base. I mean, the base, the base area, larger base area increases the stability of an object. And a lower base area, that means reduces the stability of an object. So for a larger base of an object, the stability will be there. When you have like this, we have this, you see that the vertical line, almost inside, almost closer to the base of the cardboard. That means this one here is going to be what? Stable. So this object is going to be stable. And here is going to be what? Unstable. Because they say that stability determined by two ways. One is the base area. And when it's saying that larger, larger area, larger base area increases the stability of an object. And two, two, we can also talk about lowering the position of the center of gravity. Let like that. The position is. Position of the center of gravity. If the center of gravity of object is lower, that means the object is going to be stable. The center of gravity of object is lower, that means the object is going to be what? Stable. But uh, as you keep on increasing the center of gravity of an object, that means the object is not going to be what? Stable. Like uh, when I have this, if I have a cone put upside down here, and you know the center of gravity of the cone is here from the ground, that means from this point up to here, that means the center of gravity is what? It's a high. That means this object here is not going to be stable, it will be unstable. But uh, Stability depends on two factors. One is the base area, and two is the position of the center of gravity. The lower the center of gravity, the more stable the object will be. And the wider the base of the, of the object, the more stable the object it will be. So this will bring us to, this one will bring us to the forms What are the forms? Forms of uh, equilibrium. Form of the state. Now we have allowed three. The state. One will be Stable equilibrium. Two that is unstable equilibrium. And then three, we talk of uh, 
the neutral neutral equilibrium the neutral equilibrium okay out of this we say that I can demonstrate for you if you have this is a cone this is a cone and we know that this cone is having the center of gravity somewhere here. Let's say the center of gravity is here. And if I put the cone like this, where the center of gravity is lower, and I try to give a very small displacement on this, I give a, a slight displacement, and I try to give a slight dis displacement, and I try to increase the purpose, I try to increase the the center of gravity of this what? Of this uh, cone. That means based on the weight, because of the weight of this cone, it will push it back. When I do it like this, push it back. That means trying to lower the center of gravity again. When I try to give it a slight displacement, I, I want to increase the center of gravity, but the weight of this cone will push it back, will again lower the center of gravity. Of gravity. That state is called stable what? The stable equilibrium. So the stable equilibrium occurs when there is a slight displacement of uh, an object to increase or to raise the center of gravity. Then the, the weight of that object will bring down the, the, the object to its lower center of gravity and that state is called what? The stable equilibrium. What about unstable equilibrium? This one here went, I put like this. Already this is the center of gravity but has been raised. If I leave it, it will fall down immediately. That means uh, the center of gravity, I'm trying to, the center of gravity has been raised, and when I leave it, it will fall, it will topple and falls and falls down. That means if I give a slight displacement, increase the center of gravity, the object will again topple immediately. It will fall down to lower the center of gravity. That state is called and stable equilibrium. Not stable, I put it like this. Not stable, and I leave it, it will just fall immediately. Any slight displacement I give to increase the center of gravity, increase the center of gravity, the object will be start toppling immediately. The object topples. That means it will fall down. Then the, the neutral equilibrium. If I have this, if, if the cone is placed like this, and we know that the center of gravity is somewhere here, the center of gravity is here, and I try to give a slight displacement, hmm? try to give a slight displacement, it will move, it will move, but it will not increase the center of gravity, nor lower the center of gravity. That means if I give a slight displacement on this object, uh, the center of gravity will remain the same. The center of gravity will remain the same. That means it neither increase nor decrease the center of gravity when this object has been displaced. So we call this scenario, we call this under the neutral what? The neutral equilibrium. We call it the neutral equilibrium. So those are the states of the equilibrium. One is a stable equilibrium where uh, occurs when a slight displacement is made on an object to increase the center of gravity of an object and because of the weight of that object it will take it back it will lower again the center of gravity to its original positions and that state is called stable what? equilibrium you come to unstable equilibrium 
we say that you give a slight displacement on an object which is already like this and this object because it's having a higher center of gravity it will fall down and topples immediately that means the object is not what? stable, it's unstable then a neutral equilibrium when occurs when the object center of gravity is neither raised nor lowered when an object has been displaced those are the three types of uh, the forms of equilibrium three forms of equilibrium Okay, we are going to speak about applications of uh, stability. Application of the stability. Like when you see those who like sports, you see like those racing cars. The racing cars. They have lower center of gravity, but they have wider base. Because I say that the factor to determine the stability of an object, we have one. One will be the center of gravity must be lower, and then two, that means the base, the base of that object. So when you see that car, it is moving, but it has been made in such a way that the base is lower and become and this object it will not fall fall out easily that means the base is lowered and then uh, the base is white and then the center of gravity is what is lowered so how can we use this the stability can be applied in the constructions of these vehicles the knowledge of stability is using the construction of the vehicles in the industries those who are making vehicles making motor vehicles so they use the knowledge of stability they construct in such a way like example the racing cars has been made in such a way that the center of gravity must be low and then and the white has the wider base that means it remains stable on the road means and will not topple then two This is two. We talk of uh, this uh, the double double decker buses. I've seen the double the double decker buses. You find the passengers is having one some seats up. If I can do it, is the thing will be like this. Where here we have people sit here, they sit here, people sit down here, and also people up. You find people seated down, and also people seated up. So there's people can sit down and here. So this bus has been made in such a way that the engine is constructed this bus is constructed using a very light material like especially this one for the upper one consists of only light materials but it's a metal but it is light and then uh, people are not supposed to stand in the upper what the upper deck here 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 you're not supposed to stand that means they use this knowledge st stability in uh, constructing this such that when this vehicle is moving, this one has the lower center of gravity and has been constructed using a light what? A light mat materials. So it becomes very difficult for these vehicles to, to fall. And then too, like maybe tractors. 
a given example like fractals. Fractals, when they are climbing, climbing the slope, they move, they move, and you never find them uh, toppling, like falling down, because it has been constructed in such a way that the, the center of gravity is low. So the center of gravity must be low for these factors to move, especially this, this uh, double decker car and the racing what? Racing car. So those are the applications of the stability. Stability. Okay. Now we are coming to moment of the force. <laughs> and uh, those who have been driving, we say that you are steering the wheel. You steer in the wheel, you normally you grab it at the rim. And uh, that means you apply the force. And that force must be at right angle to the axis of, axis of the rim. And uh, two, you also say that uh, the spanners, uh, you want to remove the nuts, you want to tighten the nuts, that means you are going to use a spanner to rotate the nuts. And that we are, we are trying to make use of, uh, of the moment of the force. We are making use of the moment of the force. We are trying to draw it like this, if this is uh, Now it is uh, holding from here. And this is now the force. And we realize that we have, this is a nut. And we say that this is the pivot. And uh, we're trying to, this is the, the turning, the turning effect, the turning effect produced by the by the force. So you want to remove these nuts. That means you apply the force and that force must be perpendicular to, to the directions and that force must be perpendicular to the direction of the, the axis. And then now when you're defining the, the moment of the force, the moment of the force we say that uh, the simplest way, the moment of the force of the force is equal to the is equal to the force times the perpendicular distance perpendicular distance from the line from the line of action to the point So now that is, uh, we say that the moment, the moment is equal to the force times the distance. The force times the distance. And then the SI units. The SI units, the units, uh, it will be, this one is Newton, and then this one is what? Eh? Meter. So the unit will be Newton meter. 
So that is uh, the, the unit of the moment of the force. So moment of the force, uh, the definition it will be the product of the, the product of the force and the perpendicular distance from the line of action to a point is the product of the force and the perpendicular distance from the line of action to a point or from the pivot that makes the object to turn. I, I wish you